Roz. Well, I know girl talk when I hear it. Bye. I'll go this time. Thanks. You know, maybe Fraser was right. Would it kill us to make some effort to be civil? I guess not. <clears throat> Thanks. So, your show was good today. Yes, it was. <laughs> and, and your producing was top notch. Thanks. Sugar? Please. Well, this isn't so bad. No, it's not. Maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. Well, when you first started, you know, I just thought you were kind of a bitch for ordering everyone around. <laughs> That's totally my fault. I have a tendency to be patronizing to um, entry-level employees. <laughs> well. You know, I was going to say something earlier, but when I heard your first show, I figured you wouldn't be here long. <laughs> well, you certainly made an impression on me. I remember I kept thinking, who did she sleep with to get this job? And then I found out, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> you know, there's a plunger in the bathroom. What do you say we go look for your career? <laughs> While we're in there, I can get your phone number. <laughs> Don't bother. It's 1-800-BITE-ME. Bite me? That's the best that you've got? Oh, I could spend half an hour on your hair. Well, you should have spent half an hour on your hair. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> closing time, ladies. I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Hmm. But we're just warming up. You know, there's a place down the street that uh, is open all night. Just like your mouth. <laughs> just like your legs. <laughs> 